Hello, welcome to Open Book Tutorials. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the auto span. Alright, so let's go into Cap Studio and enable auto span. You can go also and look at the speed of a box moving. Alright, you can change that if you think it's too slow or too fast. Great, so um, auto span is really um, useful when you don't want to record the whole screen and you want to only record a small portion of the screen let's say and you want when you move your mouse when you the recording box gonna the recording box is gonna show is gonna move at the same time so let's just uh, try I'm gonna make a fixed size of 320 by 240 and uh, let's record I'm gonna go here on the corner to start with alright when I'm gonna click it's gonna start, start to record Great, so now I have my bug which is probably blinking around it, my, around my cursor. When I move my cursor, uh, I'm going to click on the link and now it's. I'm going to go here, I'm going to click on another link. I'm gonna say, oh, this is like a blue house. I'm going to go down. Okay, great, we're done. I'm going to stop. Let's say I have this is my auto spin demo. Great, let's click on save. Uh, okay, now we have it. Now let's click play to see what it does. Okay, so now you said my, that my mouse is going to move down to where my link is. So you see, now I've got a sort of a size of my window, 220 by 240 window around my cursor, which is centered around, around my cursor. And every time I move, my recording window moves. So it is quite useful, you know, if you don't have much space and if you want to keep the quality very high in your in your recording. Well, this is it. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.